Hey everyone, this is J-Dog, and I'm here with another video. This disgusting piece of crap goes by the name of Scott Adam. But who is Scott Adam? Well, well, Scott Adams. Well, he's an author and an illustrator. And, and well, first of all, here's Scott Adam. But look at what's in the right. That's Scott at well, first, that's Scott Adam on the left. But look at the cartoon character on the right. That's no ordinary cartoon character. That is also a comic book character by the name of Dilbert. So there is these strips, and there was also this one television series of all around this character by the name of Dilbert. Yeah, I guess basically he works for a corporation, and then there's something about a talking dog in the show and comics. But anyway, the man on the left, Scott Adams, is the creator of this comic book character. And now people, rightfully so, want this it, um, the Dilbert comics to be immediately dropped from magazines, newspapers, and etc. And few have, and they should be dropped. And I will never support anything with this piece of garbage, Scott Adams. Yeah, piece of shit. That's exactly what Scott Adams is. But why am I saying? Dilbert needs to be boycott. Why Scott Adams needs to be boycott? But you probably already know why he needs to be boycott and why I will never support Scott Adams. This dude is a racist who despises black people. So I, whether it was a podcast or some kind of news outlet, he went around saying that how bad black people are and that we are the real racists, and that he, we need he, that people need to move, um, get far away from black people, even though we've never done the stuff that his kind, and we know who we mean by his kind, have done. They have caused wars, they have caused disease, famine, um, slavery, genocide. But, but, he says that black people are bad. That's what Scott Adams here is. And because of that, a couple of newspapers and magazines have all decided to drop his comic strips. Meaning he will no longer be able to put his comic book strips on some of these uh, um, newspapers and other print media um and i bet you his comic book sales will be a lot hard um hopefully his comic book sales suck they they're plummeting and because this guy chose white supremacy over his legacy as an author of comic books disgusting bastard right here scott adams chose white supremacy, anti-black racism over his legacy as an author and illustrator. Now his reputation will be destroyed just like others, celebrities, etc. like Dr. Seuss. And I, I used to be a fan of Dr. Seuss's books. He had some good stories, The Grinch, Cat in the Hat, uh, Horton, the elephant. But what destroyed Dr. Seuss's legacy? Or made people have a side eye against Dr. Seuss? Even a fan like myself at one point, when I was a young child. Well, Dr. Seuss's legacy and his reputation and my once fandom now turned hatred against Dr. Seuss was his racism, and how he treated his wife. 
Floyd Mayweather as a boxer. I like him as a boxer. And sometimes he'll say some good stuff. But what had people turn the wrong way? The black community um, basically go against Floyd Mayweather for him. Um, his buck dancing. And how he sold out the black community. And especially when it came to with Gucci. Yeah, these guys were good at their craft, but they destroyed their reputation and turned fan their own fans off because of their actions. And that's exactly is the situation with Scott. I, I mean, Floyd Mayweather, a recent fight this past weekend, he fought in an empty seated crowd. No, there was really no crowd. And it was karma because it's for all the people who, who he rubbed the wrong way. And that's exactly is the case with Scott Adams. A lot of people no longer want to read his comic books anymore. It's, and they don't want to follow the Dilbert adventures anymore. Comic book adventures anymore. This dude chose anti-black racism over his own legacy he has destroyed his legacy he has destroyed his reputation i was never a dilbert fan anyway and after what he said i never will be a dilbert fan and scott adams just he doesn't need to be writing stuff in print media no more, especially now that we know what he really feels. These people, his kind, he they want to go back to the 40s and 50s where he could say all kinds of negative stuff towards black people and they don't get penalized. And they could do it right in the open because he said what he said about black people in the open. Usually these days they try to covert, you know, keep it hidden or do a covert language, cover up language. Like it, it says you think he's saying one thing, but we know what he really means or who, what she really means when they say that certain thing. And you could tell what it's really the real agenda is, but he wants to go back to a time when you could be tr more truthful and open and still not face consequences. Well, the black community ha has called him out and he's now suffering the consequences. He wants to complain that people are attacking him for no reason, but we know the real reason. You are a racist. You said some racist crap about my people, black people. And now we will never want to support your stuff. Of course, the racists would defend him. Hell, even some of the sellouts will defend him. But I won't be. And I hope he suffers. I hope he does not uh, sell another Dilbert comic book ever again. Or put another comic strip on the newspaper or magazine ever again. But that's all I have to say for now. This is J Dog. Thank you for watching. Make sure you hit that like button. Make sure you subscribe if you haven't subscribed and hit that notification. And until then, I hope to see y'all in another video. Peace, everyone.